welcome back to another video on everything waffles and today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw this super cute taco cat and of course this isn't my own image like last time the eye was my own image this time it's not my own image i'm not original but before we get started i wanted to remind you guys to like this video comment down below and subscribe and if you do end up subscribing please comment that you did and turn on the post notifications so that you never miss a video on my channel so without further ado let's get right into the video well time lapse see ya So guys, now I'm gonna teach you how to make this amazing, cute little kitten. Also, I just wanted to just add a little bit of depth into the ears, make it look extra cute and three-dimensional as well. So, now I'm gonna show you how to make this adorable, cute little kitten. Okay, so right now I have a new sheet of paper. And, well, it's not really new, it has the other drawing on the back but I'm just gonna tell you how to draw this. So what you do is you kind of do an upside down U. That's a little wonky. Just a little bit wonky. So, this eraser is terrible by the way guys. I wouldn't recommend these erasers. No hate or anything, but I just don't like them. They leave marks. But then after that, you're going to kind of curve it into a straight line. Kind of. Not really, though. And then you're going to um, add two rounded cat ears on the top of the taco. So I'm just gonna fix this ear because it's uh, my nails. I'm just gonna fix this because it's uneven. And then just to finish off the ears, I'm gonna add that dimension. It's a little uncentered, but why not? Then I'm gonna skip to the face because the um, inside of the taco is always the hardest part. So you're going to do two filled in black dots that are pretty big, honestly, because you want it to look super cute. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Then underneath that, you're going to do two little ovals kind of off of the eye not really though and do a little curvy w then what you're going to do is you're going to do three little whiskers then up here you're going to do a little shiny i guess bulb shape with two little dots kind of making it look like a surprise face if you can't see that for this drawing, I'm actually gonna add eyelashes onto my cat, just so it has that extra girly and cute feature. Then, this is the part where I have to look back at my other drawing. You're going to do french fry there and a V shape there in one after two. So, before that, I'm just gonna do four little tiny bumps for, I guess, meat. Over here, I'm going to do the thighs first. So on the right side of your paper, you should have one coming out there, one going there, and one going there. So not too many thighs. Then you're just gonna add like a lettuce squiggle. For this, I'm gonna add some texture to the lettuce just to make it a little bit better. A little bit better looking. 
then over here we're going to do pretty much the same thing except we're going to add one extra fry the cheese not fry what am i saying Also, if you hear piano, I'm at piano lessons right now, because I do piano. I'm going to do some piano tutorials in the future. But for that, you're just going to basically do the lettuce squiggles again until you have your desired look. And that basically finishes up your cat, pretty much. But before we end this, I'm going to actually color in this cat. Yay! So, let's actually, before we end, shading always adds an extra wow factor. So, add some shading over here. Now, I'm going to get my crayon. Sorry if my voice kind of trailed off there. It's just because I was going to get my crayon. But, I have a 24 crayon packet. So, I'm going to grab my pink and fill in the cheeks. I'm going to grab my red orange, fill in the little bulb shapes up here. Oh, I forgot these two. Um, to define the eyes and any other features, I'm going to color in the eyes, the mouth, and the whiskers in black. If my camera is shaking, it's because my hand is shaking this table. If you want to, you can also outline the blush. I think it makes everything pop out, as my second grade teacher always have had told me. An outline makes everything stand out. These bulbs up here, you can outline them, and I'm going to just because, you know what I realized? This kind of looks like a paw, now that I think about it. But now I'm going to take my, um, color. Yellow orange. And I'm going to fill in the taco shell like that. Okay guys, so my camera kind of shifted because I had to just like kind of move my camera. But now we're going to color in the cheese because that's the most delicate work here. So I'm going to just color in the little rectangles with my yellow, just regular old yellow. And I'm almost done. There we go. Then for the meat, you might want to mix in, like start off with a red color and then go over with a brown because it just makes it look so much nicer of a meat color. It has that little burnt and baked shade, which I find really nice. Um, because I'm using crayons, it's gonna look pretty messy. That's why I don't really like crayons that much, but that's all I had available. Then I'm going to take my apricot, also, I'm using Crayola, so if you're wondering what it is, I'll leave a link to Crayola in the description if you don't actually have crayons at home, which I'm sure most of you do because crayons are a pretty common coloring thing for young kids and stuff like that, people like that. So yeah, crayons are pretty common at home, but if you don't have crayons, I'll just link to where you can actually get a pack of 24 crayons that I have. So now I'm gonna start with this light yellow green color for my lettuce. It's gonna blend in just a little bit with the cheese, but not too much. So then you're going to go over that in this green color and it makes this nice green, it's pretty. So let me just fill that in. And this is also very delicate because it's going around the fries, which is pretty hard to fill in. And yeah, 
that pretty much finishes your little cute kitty taco cat and did you guys know that taco cat backwards is still taco cat also race car also swims actually it swims upside down it still swims but yeah that completes our cute taco cat and yeah i'm gonna link the real picture in the description and i'm also going to link the crayola and stuff which i'm sure most of you have just in case um but yeah thank you for watching this episode on everything waffles and see you next time bye